Faiz Eladina, thank you for joining us this morning as leader of our UK shale portfolio. We're talking this morning about UK shale. It's been in the news a lot, particularly that uh, Quadrilla appear to have suspended uh, operations or suspended fracking. How has that affected the mood in the marketplace from the people you are speaking to? Well, um, just, just to take a step back, I mean, you mentioned the, the media coverage. You only have to look as recent as the budget yesterday to see that there's a lot of keenness on the government side of things. Um, there's also been media coverage of Quadrilla suspending operations at a well site uh, until next year. I think it, in, the, in the short term, it may have, may have dented the optimism in the short term. I think in the long term, share is still something that will have a, a huge impact in the UK. Um, I think what this incident really does is shines a light on the fact there's a need for an honest debate and to educate the people who will be impacted by the work companies like Quadrilla are doing, mm -hmm. uh, be it from an environmental perspective and also educating them about the potential economic fallout of what this means. Mm -hmm. Quadrilla and iGas are the leading operators yes. in, in the UK. Where's the technical expertise coming from? Is it the Halliburtons and the Schlumbergers of the world? Yeah, you know, the, the technical expertise is going to come from the companies who've had experience elsewhere. I mean, you only have to look as far as what's going on in the US to see that a lot of that expertise, while you can't necessarily always transfer or replicate the success that's been had there, a lot of that expertise is always going to be key. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that's, that's really important. Thing. And what's the time frame? What kind of time frame do you think we're looking at before reserves may come into production? Or is, is it too early to, to tell? I, th I think it's too early to tell. I mean, really, at the moment, you know, Quadrilla has been the first to really get things going. But, you know, we're still waiting for the British Geological Survey to tell us, you know, in fact, how much, what the potential is for shale. You know, recent leaked figures have said between 1,300 to 1,700 trillion cubic feet. Um, which is 10% uh, of which they're saying will be attainable. Uh, and, and I think it's really getting things in place such as, you know, whether it's this report, um, you know, a, a real comprehensive debate and, and getting people all on one side. I, I think that's really the key focus right now. But, you know, the, the opportunity is there. And, and once this report is, is released, there, you know, it's expected there will be another licensing round. So I think in 2013, we'll really see some of the, you know, the groundwork really put in place and people positioning themselves for you know, what is really going to be a big shale rush, they're calling it. Fine, thank you for joining us. It sounds really like a great opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.